Hey guys, how's it going? Just a quick update on my uh, SEC challenge and, and just playing with the towers, really. I uh, hope you're well. Okay, uh, quickly, 512340, oh, which is Tesla's pattern. Um, I have had that working. Um, I've had it working on this coil. Um, we'll do a video of that, interesting, but just so you can have a little glimpse to see. See it? Um, yeah, and perhaps we'll do a video of that. Okay, let's move on. So, I have, oh my goodness, I've had so much trouble trying to get a dual thief working, we won't even go there. <laughs> Honestly, I was laughing at myself about three in the morning going, why can't I get this working? Uh, Bedini, back to good old Bedini. I tell you, I just can't get away from them. Um, I'm having, I was having trouble with the jewel thief and uh, 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 lots of things. Let's not get into that. Um, <laughs> um, okay, Bedini circuit and uh, by far the coils, uh, 2420, 650 turns, um, 2K. Ugh. Um, and we'll get that going in a sec with a magnet. Okay, improvements. Now, I originally was working with this little interface board so I could bring power in here. I could take amp draw. I've got the little cap, which seems to be making all the difference with this tower project. Um, come back to that. Um, and power out, uh, out to the coil. Um, and, and this gave me um, opportunities to switch between Bedinis and it was just interfacing really. Okay, so it was just an upgrade to same sort of thing. Uh, we've got it around, oh sorry, apologies. Uh, same setup really, bigger cap. Uh, this 100 volt cap, I had it going hell for leather on the Bedini and it blew and scared the life out of me. Um, so yeah, when I was talking before, like there's a hard link across, uh, I just had a connector in here and I was linking across. Uh, same setup, bigger cap, same value. Five, five oofs, <laughs> US. Okay, um, and we must get onto the, the 48 volt. Do you know why I got the DC supply? It's because I scared the crap out of myself running 48 volts with no control over the amps. Uh, so this is 50 volts and there's a 2 amp uh, limit. That, that's my lot, but also I can limit the current. Uh, so this gives me a, a safer environment <laughs> when you're a fool like me. Um, uh, especially for experimenting, really. You know I'm only messing around. It, it, it is purely for safety and uh, for experimenting. Um, it gives me a lot of control over uh, the speed of things, uh, particularly the wheels. I can uh, do a hell of a heck of a lot more with the Bedinis with the variable supply. Anyway, coils, coils, coils. So if I get this thing oscillating, we'll see what's what. And I'll switch some lights off. And I apologise, but this is uh, it, it. It makes an annoying noise. Um, we'll get through it. Okay, we've got bulb going on on here. Let's see if we can capture some of this. Okay, let's go. Without further ado, uh, let's show you get this thing going. I have got an enormous amount of volts jamming through this with no amp drawer. Sadly, I cannot get the amp drawer up so I can push some more power through this. But I think that will be the fun of uh, trying to work that out. So it'll give me something to do, won't it? Keep me quiet for five minutes. Um, shut up, get on with the demo. Okay, so we've got a huge amount of 50 volts. Uh, obviously no draw until I get this thing oscillating. Uh, it shouldn't take a lot. It's going to be a lot harder than that. And then we're drawing about 170 milliamps. That'll go up to about 200 eventually. And yeah, so this little baby's Oscillating, loving it. I just got a little tiny bit coming out the top. Yeah, you can see that. And and then I think just watch for a minute and see what happens when I tinker around with this. Uh, we'll bring in the third coil. Sorry. Um, oh. 
Oh, bloody, it's fired already. Okay, um, not great distances, but that's not the object of the demo. It's to show you the oddities and to, sh to mirror some of the stuff that, that Jeremy's found. Okay. Um, now, I believe this is the coupling of the two coils where I'm getting this effect. See, I've got another bulb sneakily stuck in the back here. These are notoriously hard to fire to get going. And uh, they don't stay lit for long. Okay, if I pop it around the back here. He, se he seems to have a little gig where he'll come on. Sometimes you want to stay on. Look at the massive change in brightness as I move up the coil. Never thought to be doing this on a Sunday morning. Out my shed stroking my coils. Yeah, you've got to have some fun with it. Okay, an interesting thing I found is, so I moved this tower. I don't know how you guys do this all one-handed, you know. It is, it takes some real practice. Ooh, not a lot going on. Okay, so it's really close. Come on, don't. Don't let me down now, demo. Surely get this baby to stay on. There we go. Notice that the metal is, is not touching. Can you see the gap? There is a metal piece on the top of that bulb. It's not touching. I think that's quite important because things touching are just different anyway. We, we know that, so the idea is Um, yeah, not to be grounded to things. So I'm babbling on. I'm trying to video what's going on. Okay. If I move this away, we should be able to show you some Tesla magic. Tesla magic. Oh, crap, I come out of. Okay. The bulb. I can kill it. And I can bring a life. <laughs> yeah, fun. Strange. Strange. It's really hard to do a demo one handed. Let's see if I can do it again. And bring it back. Anyway, I'm just mucking about. Yeah, this is interesting. Now, check this. If I bring this in close, I should get that CFL around the back to fire back up. He says. Okay. Notice when I take the slinky toro down, I have joined the slinky, so he's he's complete. He's a one piece gig. Look, my CFL, he won't stay on. Remember, I'm close now, so he should be lighting. Okay, and if I put Slinky back on, it's a shame I can't show you everything in the picture. Look what's going down. Wow, he seems to be helping. Which I'm really the hard not to take the mic and go, well, everyone knows that, it's always going to do that, isn't it? Um, maybe everyone doesn't know that. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. This, I do not think is coupling. Although, we do seem to have now produced a musical instrument.
See, not just dimmer switches. We do musical instruments with it as well. Yeah, so uh, the the part this part of the demo really is. I don't think there's a lot going down here. This bulb, you know. I say that the the, the video actually illustrates it a lot better. It seems bright, brighter than it is. It's relatively bright, um, and believe me, you know. I think we'll know if you've played with these things. If I'm holding that bulb, that might stay on, but not without me holding it at that distance. Uh, it just just ain't gonna happen. Um, so so that's just interesting, really. Um, okay, I'm sure there's a million other things to show you um, that I've discovered and messed around with. We'll, we'll get to them all. I'm up to 11 minutes, so it's HD, I think, so it's going to take a while to upload. Um, but yeah, sh strange goings on down in the lab. Um, but I'm starting to get close to what Jimmy was going on about with this coupling and, and how, how interestingly this. And oh, annoyingly, there's a wire in front of the amp drawer. Let's move that and show you. That's where it all blows up. It goes bang like it did with the batteries the other day. Blimey, Charlie, that scared me. Uh, that really did scare me. <laughs> okay, amp drawer. Watch it. 20, 25, 24, 20. Ooh, 30. Blimey, I've never heard it do that. That's with my hand up there. Oh, I've never been able to get 30 out of that. I think it would be fair to say that this coil is certainly in love with this one. They are a couple. <laughs> oh god, I get worse. Uh, there's some coupling going on there, isn't there? There's certainly, and I think that the one on the end is is dimming purely because I'm tap drawing power. The effect on here, I don't think the third coil on the end is doing a lot. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> it's not doing this, is it? So if if I do the same, sorry, I didn't demo that. I'm saying it's not doing this. It'd be helpful if I demo, but yeah, not. Not the same, different. And perhaps you have some fun as afternoon in there. Oh, well, you want to show you these um, with them turned off on the bedini. And they're quite incredible, the outputs. Um, and I've been measuring the power output on the Medini as well. I think it's like 50, maybe. I'm not going to try and judge the voltage. I've, I've measured 50 volts coming out the back of the Medini with 25 on the input, so 25 volts going in. So we'll have a play with that and perhaps show you some demos of uh, reading the voltage off it. It seems to accelerate things quite a bit. Anyway, stop rambling on. <laughs> 